My dearest Elizabeth, grateful. Reflecting on all that has happened between us and to us and all that is about to take place today, I am overwhelmed by all that we have to be grateful for. Stone, I know you've heard me talk about this quote from St. Isaac of Syria hundreds of times, but today on our wedding day, it is even more present in my heart. I've been reading through our old love letters and reflecting on all our dates and other times we've had together, and I simultaneously want to laugh because you are hilarious. I want to cry because I love you so much. I don't know what else to do, and I just want to bellow for joy because we are getting married. Stone, I have waited my entire life to marry you. <laughs> Through life's trials, I have been propelled to you and this day by Christ's great love for us and the love he's manifested between the two of us. And I feel as though this precious gift is one neither of us will ever take for granted because we know that our life together is so sweet, yet one we choose to preserve with care. We are giving our hearts to each other in complete trust and confidence. We are starting the rest of our lives as best friends, as companions, as teammates. We are together. I think that's how I know I love you. My heart explodes just being with you. I'm not happy about getting anything from you giving anything to you or doing anything with you. I'm just happy about you. I vow to always care for you love you, fight for you, defend you, cherish you, honor you, encourage you, and help you. You are God's greatest gift to me, a man beyond my wildest imagination. You are extraordinary. I've said it a thousand times before, and I hope to say it a million more, but you are the most beautiful woman in the world. Elizabeth, I love you with everything in me. I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives pursuing our dreams, caring for those around us, and serving Christ together. I love you, my matchless bride. Yours forever, Stone. When I walk down the aisle to you today, know that I do so with all the joy possible, no reservations, and with more love for you than a heart or a lifetime could ever hold. So here's to eternity together. Here's to giving our life to each other and the church triumphant today. Here's to you, my sweet love. Forever yours, Elizabeth. Dear Elizabeth and Stone, Congratulations, you made it. Here is the syllabus for what makes a great marriage. First, there is a promise to stay together no matter where life takes you. That is manifested in the rings you are wearing, symbols of your promise that you'll wear for the rest of your lives. The ring means I will always love you. We put your hands together. This is the moment that you are actually married. God opens the gates of heaven 
and extends his hand through the hand of a priest onto a couple and consecrates their friendship into a holy and sacred union. Next, we put crowns on your heads. These represent that you are now king and queen of your household. The crowns also represent the halos worn by the saints. The crowns remind you to serve God and also to serve each other. You drank from a cup of wine called the common cup. This act of the wedding service reminds you that everything in your life from this point forth is in common. Your good days will be even better because you can share your joys together. You walked around the table three times. The first dance, called the Dance of Isaiah, reminds you that your first steps taken as husband and wife were in the church. I remember, Elizabeth, when I asked you, how do you know that Stone is the right guy for you? And you answered, because he loves me, but he loves God more.